Okay, let me know if everybody can hear me. <clears throat> like I said this morning when I talked a little bit ago, there's no shorts today. There's no good gaps today. The best thing today would be to go long the market if you want to. Um, Thunder just wrote in the room he wants to do it, so fine, I'll call it. I'm not going to do this. This isn't what I do, but the market's along, and I talked about this Monday. Today's Wednesday that I thought the market did this this week. It's making a new high in the queues now, and the SPY looks like it's going to take off. So I'll call this if you want to do it. It's an all-day play. I don't know how aggressive I'm going to call it. It's the only thing that I can even make a prediction where it's going to go today. Nothing else makes any sense at all, and absolutely no shorts. So if you want to do it, I'm going to call it, but I'm not doing it. So, you know, we've got a nice earning tonight that's going to do something that I think will be in play, whether up or down, I don't know. Um, so we have to stay focused. It's been a good week. Well, I need one trade a day. Any questions? Markets close next Friday, FYI. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't look at what's out the following Monday after Easter. I'll, I'll look at that. I'll look at that later this week. I, but I know Friday we're closed. Can't believe it's Easter already. It's like. Gator's asking a question. Any concerns with the debt ceiling at the end of the month if you're along a swing trade? Thoughts? I don't consider fundamentals or economic news when I make decisions for trades, as you know. So the answer would be no. If the market is telling you what it's telling you right now, or the stock itself, that the trade is fine, I would have no concerns. If you're in something long and you want me to look at the stock symbol, put it in the room. We have time. It's too general of a comment. If you want me to look at something specific, I will. As far as the, as far as the market goes, no effect. Market looks great. U, V, X, Y. Are you in this for some kind of swing trade here? It's lower. I'll look at CLF. I don't see anything here other than they're lower. So just so you know, I'm not doing this, but I'll call it. Let's see what it does. <clears throat> and this is a long, which is one of the other reasons I'm not doing it, but it's the best thing today. Stop's going to be 235.80 if this hits. I don't have the entry yet. But 235.80 will be the stop if this hits. Forty by eighty. Forty by eighty long spy if you want it. There's the call. 236.40, you'll be entering it long. The stop would be 235.80 if you want it. <clears throat> 60 cents. No, it didn't trigger yet. But if it does, you can do it. Uh, DN Can is down in the PNRA buyout. I couldn't find it anywhere this morning. 
This, this looks much different than it did even this morning when I, we were looking at it. Let's look at this. I still would be very cautious about shorting anything today, people. Wow, look at that. Okay, so SPY didn't hit over 40. No one should be in this yet. If that doesn't hit all, give another entry. You're waiting on this then. That didn't trigger. And this hasn't set up. It had one big red bar. I really wasn't crazy about anything with this gap. And I'd be very cautious about shorting. And I didn't rate it either. I still think the market's the best thing to do and it hasn't triggered yet, but it's still valid. 40 by 80, if that hits, but it didn't yet. 40 by 80, long the spy if you want a trade today. The market gapped up. Looks good. This isn't really what I do, but if you want to trade today, you can do it. It has not triggered yet. Really big target, though. And if it has another entry, I'll give it. Let's look at the cues. Let's look at this. Nike, did that gap? I'll pull it up. What do you want to do with it? Hold on, I'm trying to look at Facebook. Okay, I'll give another entry in the SPY. Somewhere, I don't know where yet. And I said this probably isn't going to be aggressive. Nike? Nothing here. It's falling. It doesn't mean you short it. There's nothing here. And this looks like it's going to flip. Let's watch Lulu. Lulu looks okay, actually. Ran up, held 50. This looks okay. Considering the market. All right. Let's see if I could call something more with a tighter stop. No. So 30 by 80 you could do. 30 by 80, very aggressive if you want to go long the SPY. 30 by 80 could hit in here. Long the SPY if you want it, very aggressive. But I'm giving you a wide enough stop, 50 cents. Target's 240. Huge trade if it hits. It looks like it's going to trigger right there. 30 by 80, long the SPY if you want it. This probably is the only thing I'm calling today because it's the only thing that even looks like it's anything at all. Um, what was the other one? Mon. Nope, this fell. That was kind of a piece of crap. Let me just look. Do, 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 do. Um, I like the spiders better for a long, but the cues look okay as well. It looks like it, it almost looks like a breakout. Looks like the cues want to break out over the high. I mean, I don't know if this will be any smaller of a stop. Let me just look. I don't really think so. I don't think it will really be any smaller of a stop, quite frankly. Look at this. This is crazy. Look. Look at this. Look. Oh, this. Wow. is today Wednesday this is insane It still looks okay. Is anyone going to do this if it hits? Well, it did trigger 30 there. All right, if you didn't do it, you can hit it again over 30 or 40. Stop is the same no matter what. 235.80. Is anyone in the market long? Or is anyone going to do it? Love to trade gaps wants to do it.
Does anyone want to go over anything at all here this morning about any of the trades in the last couple of days, anything from last week, anything from, well, the month just started this week. Lulu, Lulu's, Lulu's, I don't think there's any play in this today. You could have played this on through yesterday as a day trade, and I already called the option in this. You had to be in it already. You could do it now. It's a little late, but I don't know what you would really want to go over with that. This is phenomenal. This is just incredible. I really should have done this, but I'm just trying to think what I would have done. I, I don't know what I would have done because I didn't do it, but I did call two option trades in Amazon. One was expiring last Friday, which made money and was a huge trade. And the other one was expiring this week on Friday, which would have been a huge trade. And I'm not sure what I would have done. I didn't end up doing either one, but it, 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 this was unbelievable. These are the kind of trades, though, that sometimes happen and you end up doing them and that are huge trades. These are not the kind of trades that you should be looking for every single day because it's not realistic. And I'm speaking specifically to Galahad, who holds everything. This, if you had done it last week with the strike at 860, has gone now $53 through the strike. And the cost of it was like around three because it was one week out, even last week. So you would have cost you like three grand something to buy 10, but you would have made over $50,000. So it, it can happen, but you don't expect that to happen in every single trade. How would you have been able to do that? You would have had to be able, willing to hold and hold the trade through this week. I don't think even if I had done it, I would have been in it past yesterday, but buying something last week and holding it and getting out on a Tuesday when it expires Friday is absolutely something that I could have done and I've done. So that would have been realistic. And even that was 908. Even that was almost $50 over the strike. Plus there's prime value in it. And I certainly, you know, have risked three grand or more than that in options trades before. And I would have timed everything I did with the market, which everything looked great and there would have been no hiccup in it at all. So I probably would have gotten this at least... A, at least I would have gotten 75, 80% of this, but I didn't do the trade. I didn't end up doing this one. So I did the Google on Monday, but this, these things happen. Th these things can happen. They can happen a couple times a year. I mean, 20, was it 2016? Yeah, January of 2016 was the last time something phenomenal happened where we had such a massive, no, BABA, BABA was one last year too, where we had such massive risk to reward in trades that just, that just went all our way, every our way, huge risk to reward, nothing stopping them, and they happen. But to expect every trade to go like that is insane. But it can happen. You have to time everything right, and you have to think it through, and you have to not be greedy. But there would have been nothing greedy about holding this just till Tuesday from last week where I called it. I mean, I called this last week on the 28th, which was, was that Tuesday or Wednesday? Wait, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, it was Tuesday. So it would be one week. To hold something for a week, it's not crazy at all. So these trades can happen. Absolutely, they do. A couple times a year. But you have to time everything right with the market. And the stock and everything that's going on. So here's the market. Here's the market. Did anybody do it? SB, SBUX. I don't think any of these gapped. There is the market setting up and going. No, there's nothing here, Koala Bear. And really, all shorts are off. All shorts are off today. Look at this. This is flipping too. I hope no one did it and I didn't call it. Lulu, if you're in it as a put, then stay with it. It looks fine. You just, you're just in this all day. Here, it just had a little big taily guy. Once it gets over the high in here, it should just fly. This looks great. There's there's no one that's going to short this market today. So all the momentum is going to be up, people. This is this was a good, solid call with a wide stop, and you could take it. I don't like particularly doing ETFs, and I obviously prefer to short than go long, but there was nothing to short today, and the play is this. And this well, could run up to 240 today, and I'm not making it up. No one will short this in here today, and here it goes over the high. And over this area here, 237.61, which is not, which is far from here, which is a great target. That is a first target. But I believe buying comes in even over there and then shorts get stopped out. So 
This is a, more than a dollar from here where I called it. Here it goes. And that is the first target, but I believe it plows right over that. I'm predicting I can see it. There's a big bar here by 4 o'clock. <laughs> I can see it. Like I see many things before I call them. Like I saw this the day I called the put that this would go. Boop. All right, what do you want to go over? Anything, anything at all? So my point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, we just continue doing what we're doing, but there will be some trades this year. And I'm talking in general, day trades or option trades that end up just falling into our lap and being huge winners. So you take those when they come to you, but you don't have an expectation of having those every week. So, you know, that's the reality. But they will happen. This, this, this is, this, I just, this was a, this is, I don't even have words to say for this. And no one did it, did they? I mean, I should actually email the whole letter and find out if anyone did it, because not everyone that's on the letter is in the room. I don't think anyone did it, because if you guys would have, you would have told me. The problem was, I think I called three that day, and a lot of you don't want to do all, th all three of the trades, and you pick and choose. Anna's Long Apple. Thunder, if you're in the spy, you're in it. I gave you the targets. I gave you the entry. I gave you the stop. You could scalp it or you could hold it till 10 o'clock if you don't want to trade in the afternoon, but it's all day trade. Apple, I haven't looked at this for a while. Let's take a look. Apple is fine. I don't see any new trades to have taken in here. It's just rallying, 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 rallying. What are you confused about? What are you confused about, Thunder? This was... It, the entry was back in here, back in here. You're already in this. It's too late now to do it. 235.80. I'm talking about the options trades I called Thunder. You're not on the option letter list. I'm just talking in here the people that are on the option letter list. I don't have anything else to talk about today. Unless you want to go over something else. We're going to call it a day here soon because I don't have anything else to talk about. But the point I'm making is a general analysis here of the fact that some we will have some huge trades this year, whether they're day trades or option trades, that will fall into our lap, and those are the ones that you go with. So you don't force things. And as we know, in the day trades, when they usually have huge, massive trades, when do they happen? Fall out of the sky in the morning right away. They don't make us wait, 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 okay? Which we did really have to, like with the depot, even though it worked, I mean... When things fall out of the sky into the open, we know they have the potential to be massive trades and hit dream targets. And actually, Lulu really was kind of like that. So you could see that the Lulu was going to go close to the $50 number by the end of the day. That was a big move that happened quick. With the options trades, I would say it's very similar too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because I called this here, and then it, then it popped up and was huge the second day. The Baba was the same thing, took it and popped up the second day. So actually, it's very similar. It's absolutely, the way that I call entries is very similar for both the trades I do, both the types of tradings that I do. This is going to go to 920. I don't even have it. This is just, look at this. You're in the spy two days ago, but more at the lows on Monday, cash out probably today. Okay. You mean as a swing trade, or what did you do with this? I would try to maximize this here into, you know, like I said, that first target, 237, 237.50. Thunder, I don't know what you're talking about about the SPY. I, I don't know what you mean about this. I called this in here. I said you could buy it at 236.30, stop 235.80. I don't know what you're talking about. If you, if you, It's too late here now if you didn't do it. Yeah, I did call the market on Monday. I didn't expect the bounce, but the bounce held, I mean, I didn't expect this to come in here like this on Monday, but it did, and the bounce was, it was a big bounce, I guess. It, it basically held. It's almost like this, the drop-off didn't even happen, and it actually was $2, but it was as if it didn't even happen, which is really funny. 
Because if you look at where we opened, we opened at 235. This is on Monday, okay? We closed at 235.33. It's like a 40 cent little move in there almost. Here, here's the market. Yeah, so I saw this would happen this week on Monday too. I mean, yeah, it's just, I've got a great eye, people. It's just, I gotta stay focused, 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 focused. And to be honest with you, not trading days like today helps me stay focused because I don't like to do things that I don't feel comfortable doing. And I just didn't feel comfortable doing anything today. And I know some of you were dying to short DK, DNKN. Um, this looks very, very sloppy. It had a big sell-off bar here. Then whenever the high, I just, this looks like a 50-50 shot. I wouldn't day trade Lulu today, even though it looks good and looks lower. What was the call today in the SPY? You missed it if you did it. It was 236.30, you go long, 235.80 the stop. You could have added a 236.40. I called it 17 times. It's way too late now. It's way too late if you didn't do it. But I said it so many times. I don't know how you missed it. Here it goes. Look. Look at this. This is beautiful. Who all did it? Rumi did it. Love to trade gaps did it. Did anyone else do it? This will just go all day. We will have a power trend bullish day in the market today, which is unusual to have a power trend day, but it will. No one will short this market at all today. And the queues are making another brand new all time high. Let's just look at the chart here. And then I'll probably get everybody to go. So here we are. Here's the situation here. So bullish. I wonder if this is gonna gonna split eventually, or if this will just keep going like this and hold this price. What do you think? So are, is Amazon going to stream on Amazon Prime NFL content, or what, what was the deal with that? I mean, this is of interest, so I don't make decisions based on that. I'm just wondering. What's, uh, what was the deal with uh, Amazon, the news on Amazon? Here, I'm going to pull it on myself. 236.83. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Do, do, do. April 27th is the next earnings on Amazon. NFL streaming rights. Mm -hmm. Amazon to pay fifty million to stream NFL Thursday games. Fifteen million for the one year deal. <laughs> yep. Okay. What do you want to go over? Anything? Uh yeah, Mike, email me. It's been a while. <laughs> Gotta get back in the groove. Well, earnings season is a good time. We got one more week after the Easter holiday and we'll be busy as beavers. Let's look at BBY. This is out tonight. Or was it BBBY? Now I'm confused. I confused myself. 
Is it BBBY or BBY? I have Amazon in the brain. No, it must be BBBY. Well done. Yes, yeah, BBBY. So this is tonight's watch. You can look at it tonight. You can watch it. It's going to report BBBY watch tonight. I don't know what this does. I honestly don't. And, and we'll just have to wait and see. But I think it's in play either way. Okay. B, WBA. There you go. 237 is the first number. WBA. Uh, let's see. Are you in this? Are you doing something with this? Or you want to do this? Or This gapped up, fell, broke. It gapped up and fell. And there's nothing to do with this here today. Gapped up this morning into the open, fell immediately. Boom. You had a hard time with what? This gapped up and then it just fell. There's no read on this really in here. This doesn't even look like a real bar. I don't know if that is or not. Um, BBRY from a few days ago. It seems to be going and going. It's only at $8, which was where it was on Friday. I don't think this is going and going. What do you mean? This is at the same price it was or a little bit lower than it was on Friday when it had the earnings. I don't, it's not going and going. It's falling today. It rallied yesterday. It really is a piece of crap. It was one decent move on Friday that actually fell then and closed really crappily. This is trading at the same price it was on Friday. I don't, there's nothing here. Don't buy this. This, this is the buy. And I didn't call an exact entry in the queues because I really felt like the SPY was a better call. Yeah, a piece of crap is right. So we'll see when we get tomorrow, people. It has been a good, strong start to the month. If you want to trade every day, I'm trying to give you them, even if I don't do them, which was the market today. And I really just prefer to short. And I also feel good about my week. And I really don't love doing ETFs. And I feel no reason to push it. I think we get a good play tomorrow morning with BBBY and Friday. I don't know. I don't know what we have Friday. We might get something Friday. If we get, if we get four strong days this week, I'll be very happy. But for those of you that are in the spy and did the call on this, you're up. You have a nice day. You could get out right here and go back to bed. It's 9.55. Did only two people do it? You'll be in the room Wednesday, out of town for a week. Okay, have a good vacation, Susanna. Okay. All right, have a good day, everyone. Be safe, be careful. Don't get nuts. If you're in the market all day, good luck. See where it gets to. 240 is the dream target. If it doesn't get there by today, it's probably between now and Friday. <laughs> All right, have a good day. You're welcome.